Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. What we're going to be doing today is some Halloween mayhem, and today we're going to be doing Annihilation rather than Survival, because if you guys saw my last video, Survival did not go well for me. And I think Annihilation, if you're looking to make any PEDs off this event, if you're looking to farm those Halloween boxes, make some money, make some markup, you really can't do it in survival, let's just be 100% brutally honest. Survival, it just doesn't work. If you guys saw how that went for me, you saw it did not go well. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be doing survival. So let's uh, let's go ahead, let's hit that end button, let's go to event list. You just type that in and search, as you guys saw me do. Go to global instances, mayhem annihilation, this is what we're going for here. This is basically, you kill mobs for points, the more points you get, the better. You got 15 hours or something like that in an annihilation instance to get as many points as possible and that's how you're gonna be ranked um so i'm gonna i've got to do mayhem annihilation at 02 level 2 because of my level i'm above level 25 um i'm not above the level 3 limit so let's just go ahead and do this uh for those of you guys wondering i am not let's see the rules actually let's see this what do we have health attributes oh so there's this here's your caps right level 35 that can be your max per uh, max level, max base DPS is 48. So you can see sort of um, all the stats there. That is limiting the gun, but if you look at this gun that I'm using, let's see what the DPS there is. So you can see it's 39.2. So you could be using a gun that's better than me. And now, of course, you've got issues with armor and everything like that. My health also isn't that high. So let's uh, let's just jump in and see how it goes. But yeah, you can see the max stats there. I didn't realize that was a thing in my other video, for being honest. So I, I probably should have included that. But you know, it is what it is. So here you see we've got 15 hours. Let's go ahead and hit F to interact. Let's pull out our gun and let's just start shooting these guys. So we've got a bunch of zombies here. They're a lot less aggressive now. You can just pick them off, kill them. You can take your time with it. This is going to be a lot more relaxed sort of Halloween mayhem than what we were doing with that survival. Because survival, it's all about like they're attacking you. You've got to be the aggressor. You've got to take them out. You've got to use your buffs and get lucky. And everything's got to work out for you. With this, it's a little bit easier, right? There's no, there's not as much strategy involved. There's not as much, well, your PED card is not going to be taking as much of a hit either, which is very nice. Um, one of the, the, my biggest gripe, I think, with survival is just that you really need to be willing to spend a lot of PEDs and, like, armor decay and healing decay to make it. Because at some point, what's going to happen is, like, when it comes near that end, you're going to... Either A, you're going to need to have armor so good that none of the mobs are doing any damage to you and you can just stand there. Um, and that does sound very easy. That sounds like a great way to go. But my guess is that the damage, the decay you're taking is going to be way too high. Uh, you can see here, I'm using ghost armor, which isn't like cheap armor. And I'm still taking quite a bit of damage from these guys. Um, so it, it's definitely not... Oh, we're using the wrong healing device there. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, right? Like, if you look at this, if you look at the damage I'm taking, look at the cost of this as far as healing and everything like that goes, it is, it's pretty massive. Whether or not I'm going to make a profit sort of still remains to be seen. I did mess up there because I got a little too close and two of the mobs attacked me, so I'm going to back up a bit. I don't think there's any sort of turrets behind me, are there? Is there a turret there? don't see a turret there, so I think we should be good to go. So we get that kill. Look at this. We're getting some decent loot here, honestly. Um, I'm going out with 50 PDs of ammo. I don't know if I said that already, but like, yeah, let's combine this. So we have 40 PDs here. We're burning through all of our universal ammo. And we're, we're not doing too bad, honestly. If I could get a global or something like that, that's going to really like come through in the clutch and make this Halloween Mayhem uh, pretty awesome for me. Especially if we could get some sort of... I, I don't think there are Halloween items. I really wish there were. That's sort of one of my... One of the things is, like, the, I'm not sure. Like, these mobs, everything's, like, very similar. Like, if you go back and watch my old Halloween Mayhem videos, you're going to find that they're very similar to what I'm doing now, right? Like, those videos are all, like, the, the theme is very common among them, right? It's, like, the same old thing just being rehashed again and again. And, like... I get it, it costs a lot of money to make these instances, but given the amount of money that players spend in these instances, I would like to see a little bit more sort of differentiation between them. And that's why uh, a lot of, like, someone was asking on Discord, like, why I'm not super psyched about Mayhem and not playing all the time, and why I'm playing the Outer Worlds when Mayhem's going on. And it's like, well, A, Mayhem's going to be going on for, like, two months. It's Halloween and Christmas, like, back-to-back. -back. They should do, like, a 4th of July Mayhem or something like that instead. Summer Mayhem. 
and then winter, like two different seasons, I think. But like they're back to back, which is like a little little much. And this is the same thing that I've done before, right? This is no different than sort of any other thing. And like these mobs don't tend to loot anything special other than the Halloween strong boxes, which I, I can't really open strong boxes for those of you guys wondering, because that's one of the things. Like if you don't deposit, you can't open strong boxes. The whole idea behind a strong box in my opinion is to get players to deposit because players get that box and now they want to open it and to open that box they need to put more money in and now the game sort of tricked you into spending just a little bit more because what's on your character you're probably not going to go through the hassle of withdrawing let's be honest like i'm probably not going to do it and i've got a character worth a ton right like that's just you know a lot of people just aren't going to do that right um they're not going to Ooh, what is this? Your Halloween creature challenge has increased. I didn't even realize I had that. Let's, we should check the codex. I remember there were new missions on the codex. I never even talked about that. Um, but yeah, like, basically the thing is, like, I, I get why they're doing it. I get everything behind that. It's just I'm not going to deposit to open strong boxes, so I end up selling them. So, like, that whole draw that draws a lot of people in getting those Halloween items, it doesn't draw me in because I can't loot the Halloween items, and I can't loot them from a box because I'm not going to deposit to open a box. So... I guess that's where I stand. I don't know if you can actually trade the keys to open the boxes. Oh, I used the wrong healing device again. I put that healing device into the rotation for survival just to see how long I could make it. Spoiler alert, if you're willing to spend a lot of money on a healing device and on armor, you can make it quite far. But with what I've spent, a measly couple hundred PEDs, you can't do anything. Uh, so the guys you see making it really far, my guess is that they borrowed some really high-end armor from someone and maybe a really high-end healing device, or they've just got really high-end armor where these mobs are hitting them and they're not doing any damage. Because honestly, if, if you can, for survival, if you can sit there and the mob's not doing any damage, it doesn't matter what gun you have, right? Like, all you've got to be willing to do is take that decay, and I think that's sort of the point of survival. I think it's all about how much decay you can take, right? The more decay you can take, the better, the more likely you are to win, and that's just how it goes. Anyways, let's uh, jump over the codex. One of the nice things, too, is if that decay actually does go back into your uh, into the loot pool, it's a very good for everybody else because it means that you can loot extra, right? Now, if the decay goes into Mindark's, uh, Mindark's pocket, like some people say Mindark only takes decay, survival's a very, very intelligent way for Mindark to bring in a little bit of extra loot. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and track this. We can see our Halloween Creatures Challenge over here. Um, what are the, what's the reward that we can claim for this? Claim reward. Ooh. We can get just a little bit of skills and a bunch of different things. Um, I am not 100% sure what I want to take that in. So let's, let's go ahead and check my skills out here. As far as, like, what I've got the least of. And also, I know some of you guys are watching this like, Serial, you're never going to win the point challenge like this. I, I know. I know. It's okay. So anatomy, that I've got a lot of. Athletics I think would be a good one. So what I'm doing here basically, for those of you guys wondering, is I'm looking at all the skills I've got. I'm seeing sort of where my lowest skill is and where that is, that's what I want to claim. Because just in, in general, it's better to do that. Actually combat reflexes, I think I'm pretty new in that, am I right? Um, where do we have combat reflexes? No, I'm not, not new in that actually. Ooh, we got an M token, so that's always good. So let's, oh, and I forgot to heal, didn't I? See, this is what happens. I start paying attention to other stuff, and I forget to heal, and now I've got to, like, sit here and just, like, mash that button and hope that I can heal up in time. And I just realized I'm using the wrong healer. I've got to change those keys. Um, so, yeah, we got diagnosis. Was that one of the options? No, BLP weapons. I'm going to skip that. Combat reflexes. Dexterity. So dexterity, I've got a bit of. Um, I'm gonna skip handgun, heavy weapons, laser. I know laser is pretty high for me, and all these like heavy melee, all that power fist, everything like that. I could get a lot of skills in that if I chose to claim the reward there. But at the same time, I know that's just not something I'm interested in. Like I'm interested in purely skilling rifle. So let's go over to weapons handling. Let's see where I'm at with that. So weapons handling, I've got a pretty high level there. Um, Am I, am I gonna kill this guy? What is, why did I stop shooting? That's the question now. I think cause I tried to click to see how much health this thing has. All right, let's go ahead and just kill this. Let's see if he, he might kill me. There's a good chance this could, this guy could kill me if he gets a crit and he doesn't. All right, we're good, we're good. 
Let's heal up here. No, oh, whew. oh, and I used the wrong healing device again. That is not what I want to do. So let's go back to our all categories. If you look, my aim is probably the lowest score that I could really get. So what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go claim my reward. And the reward I claim is going to be aim. So there we go. Nice and easy like that. That's what I always do, by the way. For those of you guys who are wondering, like, what skills to claim and everything like that, look into what skills count towards the professions that you're interested in skilling. And then you can run the numbers on it, but when it's something low, like just a, a couple PECs of skills, I just go with whatever skill I have the least amount of skills in, and that's what I increase for the codex. If I'm looking at a 1 PED gain or something like that, then I'm actually going to sit down and run the numbers. But if it's just something small, I don't really bother. Like, you, you can be more efficient, you can run the numbers, you can do all that, but like, if that's just not what you want to do, don't do it. Or at least that's my, uh, my, uh, my stance on the whole thing. So let's go ahead and check, right? Profession level increase. What did I get? Oh, paramedic. All right. So that wasn't even close to what I was hoping it would be. I was thinking like I might have gotten like a handgun skill or something like that or gotten something. I could be like, oh, yeah, see, like you do aim and you're getting a few different skills, working a few different things. And in reality, like nothing really happened. It's because I, if you notice, I didn't really get that much skill either. Um, so the way skills work, basically, for those of you guys who are wondering, the lower the level of the lower the number of skills you have, the less PEDs or PECs it takes to equal one skill point. So basically, if you're beginning, you know, 0.10 PECs of skills might be 100 skills. At my level, it might be 50. At someone who's like just a little bit better than me, it might be 25. And by the time you're like one of the best players in the game, it's it's literally like nothing, right? And that's just that's sort of how the game works. Um, the skill gains are exponential to a point, and Mind Arc always tweaks that point. So that's one of the big things that like the older players like me would complain about because a lot of the skills that I got they were a lot harder to get back when I got them. Mind Arc made them easier. They basically devalued what I have, and now it looks like I haven't spent that much time in game when in reality I have. It's just the skills I have have been uh, devalued. So let's go ahead and kill some. Uh, some more mobs here and the thing is I'm not going for this like 15 hour time limit for those of you guys wondering do I play like 15 hours in a month maybe but it's it, I'm not going to spend 15 hours just sitting here hunting zombies that would for me at least that would probably just be it would be too much time I just I just don't have the patience for it I don't know what it is I feel like I actually a lot of people say I have ADD um maybe I do maybe I don't I don't know but I just can't sit still for that long. Maybe I drink too much coffee. That's probably it. It's too much coffee. So let's go ahead and kill some more uh, more Annihilation uh, Zombies. One of the things I do like is that they included this into the Codex. That's a little bit of like something new that they added to this. I guess I should probably mention that. The new thing that they added probably is that you can... Oh my god, I keep using the wrong device. Um, let's... You know what we're going to do? We're, we're just going to... Let me just, how do, let me see if I can just like, uh, move to trash can. All right, there we go. Now I'm not gonna be making that mistake again. I keep pulling out the wrong healing device and it's like sometimes you just gotta be proactive about that stuff, realize that you're not good enough to not do that, so just get rid of it. That hockey doesn't exist anymore and I can't hit it. So now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and convert this to ammo here. Those of you guys who are watching this video, is this interesting? Is this something you want to see? Do you guys want to see me do more Halloween creatures? Or should I end it here? I've done one survival, one annihilation. What do you guys think? I'm not going to be going back to doing survival because that is just a... Survival tends to just be like a money pit from what I've noticed. And unless you really think you've got a chance at it. Like if one of you guys has some like super high-end armor that I could put on and these guys would do no damage, I'd love to borrow that. That would be pretty awesome. I could just sit there and last for hours hours and hours and hours um but yeah I, actually i'm not even gonna do that because the decay would probably be ridiculous it, it would probably be worth it let's be honest it, it would be worth it but like i don't even know if such an armor exists i actually i'm pretty sure it does um but yeah like that's 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 how it goes i guess um but yeah if you get if you guys like watching me do this i'd be i'd be more than happy to do probably some more zombie creatures the question is going to be how the returns are on them. If I notice that returns are very bad on this, I probably won't go ahead and do it just because right now, if I'm being fully honest, like I've probably hinted at a few times, my PED card is rather tight. Um, 
for those of you guys saying, like, some people have said I should deposit because I'm making money on YouTube. Most Entropia Universe videos I put on YouTube are actually losing money, not making money, for those of you guys who are wondering, because the AdSense revenue just isn't high enough. If I put a game out like The Outer Worlds, I'm going to make, like, there's that initial game cost, but there's no cost to play. With Entropia, there's a cost to play, and because of that cost to play, every video I do is pretty much like a, a losing Oh, when I just died. Every video I do is a losing video. I'm completely okay with that. But when you say, like, just put money in so that you can play, you're basically asking me to dump money into a game, which, like, my claim to fame here is I'm not a depositor. So, like, at this point, just out of out of pure spite, I can't deposit, right? Like, I've just got to make this thing a thing, right? Like, I want to keep this a thing. And I'm a non-depositing player who's done really good because that always shocks people. And a lot of people think that I'm lying, um whatever if you really want to think i'm lying go for it like i really don't care but yeah like i just just out of spite i'm not going to do it and like even if i was a depositor like this isn't you're not giving me a great suggestion fyi you're just saying i should spend more money for making more entertaining videos because whatever but the money's not going to come back to me it's not like it's not like one of those like mr beast videos where he can just keep dumping larger and larger amounts of money in and getting more and more back right because Entropia just doesn't have that user base. Uh, I, I've, I've looked into it. I've looked into it, folks. Trust me. Like, I've looked into it, and honestly, unless I wanted to pull a never die and buy a planet, I, I don't think there'd be any way. Even if you buy a land area, right? Like, $20,000 spent on a game, you're not going to get the, the level of fame, the level of followers, the level of whatever needed to sort of recoup that return. Um, and that's just, that, that's just the nature of the beast, right? Like, unless Entropia Universe can really boost up the amount of players coming in, it just doesn't work. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm completely fine with what I'm doing now, so I'm going to keep doing that. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing me hunt more of these guys, let me know down below in the comments. And again, the big caveat here is going to be like, if the loot is horrible, which I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not thinking it's too, too bad, but I'm definitely noticing like some pretty high losses on this run. Uh, if the loot is this bad, if it continues being this bad, I'm definitely not going to be continuing with the Halloween creatures. And that's one thing I recommend for everybody, right? Unless you really think that you've got a shot at winning. And the scores you're seeing now, those are sort of, people are phoning it in right now. Like, there's some people who are really going to come out to play, and they're going to be doing it at the very end, right? Like, they don't want to give that competition the edge of knowing what the top score is. I got to heal again. I keep, I'm, I'm going to die. I, I sit here, I talk so much, and then I forget to heal. It's sort of annoying. Um... But yeah, basically the people who are really good, who really know what they're doing, who are really competitive in these things, what they do is they wait till the very end to jump in. And then they jump in and they just kill it. And everybody's like, how did this happen? I was in the lead until the very last hour. And then all of a sudden this guy jumped ahead of me. And the truth is this guy was always going to jump ahead of you. He was just keeping it in the background. So a lot of the opponents, they don't know where he's going to land, right? So like for instance, survival. Let's say you've got the most beastly armor of all time. If you go into that instance, like, maybe 10 hours or something before the end of the thing, you can rank, like, top 10, and then just no one's going to be able to beat you. Even if they have the armor, they just don't, they probably don't have the time to jump in and beat you. So that's sort of, that's how a lot of people play it, and that's, um, you always got to keep that in mind. There's always going to be some people doing that. Something like this is a little bit harder because there's a 15-hour time limit, so a lot of people are just going to blow through that, um right off the bat so if you are looking to compete and you're not familiar with speedrunning and how a lot of this works in Tropia universe annihilation is probably the better way to go but honestly you're still probably not going to get it so i wouldn't recommend throwing aside eco throwing aside profit at hopes of getting those mayhem tokens if you're doing that you're really i mean thank you you're donating to the loot pool which theoretically this is why loot should be going up around this time because more people are dumping more in I'm not seeing it right now, but theoretically, loot pool should be going up because a lot of people toss eco to the side and they figure we're just going to blow everything we've got and try, and try and make some money, try and win this thing and get those mayhem tokens and get that high mark of item. But right now, yeah, I'm just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the loot. I'm not seeing the returns that I've seen in the past where I've done these things where I just see huge returns. So either A, because Mindark's re rehashing a lot of the same old, same old, people are just getting bored and they're not as interested in it. Or B, what's going on is people are just more eco or they're making more. They figured out the loot pool better than me and they're, you know, they're pulling in the money instead of me. And that's completely possible. Also, with that max gun and all that, there is a sort of maximum eco that you can waste, right? 
All right, so we got the Codex mission again. Let's go ahead and uh, pull that up. You can see these Codex mission missions, you can really fly through them, right? Like, I haven't been in here all that long and I'm doing pretty good. We gotta go convert some ammo here. So out of the 50 PEDs, we're down. Oh, no, 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 let's kill this guy. What is going on here? All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. So yeah, out of all the out of 50 PDs, I, I'm down to like 16 left. So if those of you guys wondering, is Serial Overdrive gonna be doing more Entropia Universe videos? Um, I'm gonna have to wait till next week probably when my PED card gets magically restocked. I gotta heal up here. Uh, I'm hitting the wrong button again. I think I accidentally. Oh, that was a, that was a hard hit that that guy just gave me. Um, I think what I did is I accidentally healed, put that fap on my main hotkey, and now just subliminally I keep hitting the wrong key. Um, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, let's get that, that codex thing, and then we're probably going to have to bail on this because, um, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go codex. Claim our reward. I'm going to go with the aim again. If you guys are interested, we can, we can just see how much that skill jumps from this. Oops, I'm gonna die again. Yep, all right. So let's go ahead and claim this aim reward and see what happens here. So is it 1985? Oh, it looks like Mind Arc does not refresh. And now we're at 2000. Not not the biggest jump in the world, right? Like, you can see that's sort of the the antithesis of what happens when, you're, when your skills are high enough. Like, you just don't see those huge jumps anymore. Let's go ahead and heal up, and then I'm going to take this last guy out. And then uh, we're going to duck out of here and total up all of our loot. All right, last one killed. Ooh. What did I get? I got the new mission. We got an M token. Oh, wait, is this... What's going on here? I didn't loot him. Ooh, so I get the do you get the M tokens every time you complete a codex, maybe? Or did I just get lucky there? Six M tokens, that's not too bad. I don't think I can trade these, can I? Cannot be traded or sold. And the annoying thing here is I'm If M tokens can't be traded or sold, the question now is can they be looted? Because I'm sitting here on Arcadia and I'm thinking like, do I really want to carry those all the way across to Calypso to turn in my rewards and I, I think I have to I think I have to and right there we see like we got some we got some okay loot there uh, two PEDs of loot that's one of the better loots that we've seen uh, this guy I guess he decides for the first time we've got a mob aggroing me that's uh, interesting I, did, I didn't think these mobs could aggro if we're being 100% honest but it looks like they can so let's go ahead let's kill this zombie here oops and he's gonna kill me isn't he Let's heal up real quick. Let's see if I can do this in time. There's a good chance. Oh, no, I'm, 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 in, I'm in the safety zone right now. I'm in the safe zone. I'm doing okay. And you see, these mobs are actually, like, it says level 10 here. But that's sort of a bit of a fallacy, right? Like, it says level 10, but they're doing a lot of damage to me for level 10 mobs. It's, uh, there's some hard hitters. Let's be honest. All right, so there we go. We got that last kill. Nice little 2 PD loot. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here real quick bail on this zombie defeat zombie creatures gather points we've got 12 points and there we go we've exited that means that it's no longer timing you by the way so those of you guys who are interested in competing you want to get out ASAP um, as far as returns go let's take a look we've got eight PEDs of returns here we've got a little bit of armor left ammo left and we've got seven PEDs of universal ammo um, so yeah we came back with 16 PEDs we went in with 50 oh boy this uh, this really drained me here um yeah we went we went in with 50 and we've got 19 pds of decay so we went in with 50 pds of ammo and we've managed to lose wow we've managed to lose like 53 pds we actually lost more than um the ammo's worth so that that is that is the, this is probably the worst hunting run i've had of this this might be the worst hunting run like this where i just used like pretty eco gear of uh Worst run of 2019. Um, maybe. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Oh, this isn't right. Something in here has been... What is going on with this? Really? 
Whoa. Uh, some, something's off with the armor, right? Yeah, I'm not seeing it here, but there's definitely like something in, oh yeah, it's, it's putting some of this like vigilante stuff in here. I'm not sure what's going on with the armor, but that decay is like way too high. Um, so maybe there's like an armor piece I looted. Let me see, is there? Is this? No. I don't know why the, vi I guess I forgot to repair my vigilante and that's like popping up in here, but it seems like 15 PDs of armor decay is a little high. So something, something definitely went wrong there. Um, maybe from survival. I didn't think I took that much decay in survival, but maybe I did. Maybe those mobs are hitting super hard or like, oh, maybe when it says, you know what I'm thinking in survival? Like, I, cause I only played survival for a little bit. So I didn't think it was worth just healing up my armor. I sort of forgot about it. But maybe when it says your armor is gonna deflect hits, it means that you're just taking full decay. If they did, that is a very shady thing to do, Mindark. That is not cool to say deflected and dump all that damage onto my armor, 15 PEDs of damage. No, that, that can't be it. There's there's no way that they do that. That's that can't be that can't be right. How much is it? What am I missing here? Hold on. I, I want to figure this out, folks, because, like, we've got some harsh words to say if that's a, if that's the case. Um, but I, I don't want to say it if I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like they wouldn't do that. I feel like when they say, yeah, like, you're just going to deflect things, that's just it's, it's going to just deflect things, right? Because, like, uh, so in the survival instance, I didn't heal up after the survival. In the survival instance, there was this case of, I picked up a pumpkin, it said, for one minute, all hits are deflected. I thought that was very cool because that meant, like, I could just kill mobs without taking damage. I'm like, oh, yeah, mind Eric, put something in that's helping the player out. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe when they said that, that means that every hit is deflected and my armor takes the full damage rather than it's... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know what's going on there. I don't even want to. I don't even want to guess at that because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It's definitely one of the more disappointing hunts of 2019. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to post them down below. And if you guys could help me out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, go to Patreon because you just watched me lose like five, ten, no, nah, five or six dollars, right? In 30 minutes that's uh you know it's a decent amount of money losing 30 minutes should have gone out and gotten a beer anyways thanks for watching until next time peace